Welcome, everyone. It's been a while. Apologies for my absence. If you didn't know, I was at um, ESA for almost two weeks, so I've been gone since then, but I'm back now, back home. Hope you're all doing well. Good to see you all. But yeah, um, to anyone who hasn't seen the first two episodes of this weird thing that I'm doing, this is SSSA, or Super Sunshine Autos. How about your girl graduated? No one gives a fucking shit about love's graduation. Whatever. Everyone has a degree nowadays. It's not important. Anyway, back to the gaming stuff. So, SSSA is a challenge where you start a new game for three Vice City or San Andreas, and <laughs> lives here to come in. Liv, shut up. We're talking about important stuff. Um, and we've got to get all the vehicles to the lighthouse. Every single vehicle that is obtainable in the game without cheats to the lighthouse. Now, in 3 and Vice City, Vice City took me like eight hours, I think. GTA 3 took me three hours and something or four hours. It was quite easy. San Andreas is going to take me a lot of time, like over 24 hours, I'm pretty sure. So, of course, we're going to be doing this in segments because, you know, I contribute to society and have a job, so I can't play this game for 24 hours straight in the middle of a week. But I'll try and do it as much as I can. The reason it's going to take so long is simply because there are, like, double the amount of cars and obviously double the amount of content to get different stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be huge. And also, my knowledge of SA vehicles is so much worse than GTA 3 and Vice City. There are going to be so many things where I might have to look it up on, like, the wiki, or just ask you guys what on earth a certain vehicle is and how I get it. But yeah, so that's that's the long and short of it. Um, I'm using a tracker that you can see on the left hand side to track real time based on the save, this thing here, what vehicles I've collected and which ones I haven't. So just got to do all 194 of them ac according to that, basically. Uh, but yeah, so also if you've seen like Josh and a few other people race this mod in MTA, this isn't the same thing. So there's an MTA map or multi theft auto map, which is like a big online multiplayer San Andreas thing. Basically, it basically like it, it like spawns all of the vehicles on the map, and you've got to drive them to a certain place, right? So that is like way easier to do. You can do it in like a few hours, like a day. But that's because you don't need to do any missions or anything like that. They're just on the map and you just got to drive them about. I'm not fucking doing that shit because that's cheating. So instead, we're doing it legit from a fresh, you know, boot of regular San Andreas. That's the plan. Where do they need to be delivered to? So that's a good point, actually, because it sounds obvious, but it's not. So there are actually two lighthouses in San Andreas. There's one in Los Santos, and there's one in whatever it's called, Bayside, I think. So you can actually deliver deliver them to either, I think. So depending on where we are, it might be more convenient to go down to LS, like all the way down to the southeast, or all the way up to the northwest of Bayside, I think. It's something like that. So, yeah, just to keep that in mind, there's two lighthouses in San Andreas because it's so big. So, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. So, regarding missable vehicles, I don't actually know which ones are missable in San Andreas. I've been told that it's not that many. One that I know is missable is the SWAT tank in End of the Line 1. Because that's the one that you have to go, like, all the way to the end of the game for, which is also why it takes so long, because we need to do, like, basically the entire game. Aside from that, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I think... Are my binds even set up in this? I don't know. Some gang vehicles are missable if you get all their territories. Okay, I, I probably won't do that, so that's fine. I think this is fine. I don't think anything else I care about. We'll 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 get into it. I'm sure and we'll we'll figure it out. Alright, let's go. Uh timer as well. Timer. All right, let's go. Oh, my fucking mouse is inverted. I forgot they do that. Uh, is my display setup good? No, it's set to fucking... Okay. Bro, I swear to you, I have a fucking set file, and it just... set to dumb shit anyway. Draw distance all the way up. 
There we go. The game should look a bit less shit now. All right. So my first plan is the same plan that I always have. I'm just going to go straight to the lighthouse, which is here. And straight away, I'm just going to go and deliver as many cars as I can. That's the plan. I'm going to put a marker on the map. Because the, the more we get down the list, the better. So that's the first plan. Fuck the missions. Just go and deliver a bunch of shit. I guess technically speaking, it would be better to wait until you like do high stakes low rider. And then go ahead and do it, but whatever. Lighthouse is more to the east, I'm sure I'll find it. Nice cop car. Oh, cop bike, yeah. Yeah, you'll know if I've got a vehicle that I can hand in. Because as you see at the top left, it says vehicle is yet to be delivered, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, the BMX is a vehicle. It's it's every vehicle. So it's helicopters, boats, cars, bikes, you name it. So yeah, I'll, I'll head all the way down south and then I'll... um, And then we'll have a look out for the lighthouse. Oops. Get all baller and grove cars from beach territories and sports cars from Richmond. I assume Richmond's an area. My uh, my knowledge of fucking SA is so bad. Reminder that repeatedly hopping on the bike is faster to build bike skill. Do I care about bike skill? Yeah. Oh. Richmond is directly north from the lighthouse. Okay. Whereabouts is the lighthouse? I swear it's like over here, no? Down in the area where you finish Snail Trail. Right. Because you finish Snail Trail at like the fun fair here, right? Oh, I see it. I think I see it. Yeah, I see it over there. So it's like all the way down in the far southwestern corner. Over here. Is there like a trail that goes to it? Yeah, there is. Does this mod remove wanted levels if you go to Los Venturas right now? No, it doesn't change anything. The only thing that it changes is this. So if you get a vehicle into the area and you leave, that's really loud. Fucking hell. Why is that so loud? Okay, that's weird. Uh, sorry, I guess we're gonna have to deal with that really annoying sound. Because I have no idea how to turn it down. Because I assume it's set to the... the game sound, but... No. Unless it's like a separate process for the thing. I'll, I'll mute the Java thing. Maybe that's it. Alright, but yeah, now we literally just get in everything and deliver it. While we're here. Can we do this as well? Yeah, we can. Okay, so it mutes it. So, yeah, you're just gonna mute the, um... Just gonna mute the, what's it called? The, the jar file, basically. Might need a swimming skill? Maybe. I might need a bit of everything, to be honest. You don't need this no more. All right, give me this fucking Yogamite or whatever this thing's called. Yosem Yosemite. Yosemite. We actually get money for this as well, so we might be like a billionaire before we even start the first mission. Oh, the fucking thing I've just realized is, is like now cutting off the screen. I perfectly lined that up. And now it's fucking dicking me. And it's like completely changed size for some reason. That's annoying. Okay, I get back in. Hello. You have to date all the girlfriends? I don't think I need to date all the girlfriends. I think I just need to date some for their vehicles. I'll wait until I've cleaned up like 10 or so more cars and then I'll change the... Uh, I'll resize the SSSA thing. Michelle is the only required one. Okay. Good to know. Yoink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Fadja. Don't mind oh. me. Kitty would be good for death warps, and Helena would be good for a fast bandito spawn, and that's it. All right, noted. Two and a half percent done in seven minutes. Seven point five hours pace. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the fastest time anyone has done this in it was Meno, and it was like eighteen hours or something, and that was like a properly fully rooted thing. So. Yeah, doing this run back and forth will give us quite a bit of stamina, which is good. This is a regular mountain bike, right? I want this. Because this isn't a BMX. It's a different bike. Yeah. I didn't know mountain bikes would just spawn in traffic like that. 
Yeah, I'm not doing it a uh, single segment, Anti. I, I don't think I would be able to do it single segment. I think it's going to take me too long. It's probably going to take me like 30 hours or something daft to get everything. Because I, I don't know where like half the vehicles are, you know? So yeah, I'll just be like resuming the timer whenever. Uh, cabby. This road also spawns a certain other group of traffic. That's why you just found a Fadjo and a mountain bike. Well, good. More groups of traffic, the better. The more diversity we can get at the right of the start is really good. Sunrise. Ow. What happens if you deliver the truck in Monster? If I remember correctly, you can't deliver... Wait, did I already deliver a Sunrise? It's not some way that I can use it. Oh, no, it's because the pedestrian was in it. I can't deliver it and there's peds inside. Um... Yeah, what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, you can't deliver mission vehicles. So if I wanted to deliver the truck in Monster, I would have to, like, destroy it in a garage to make it mine, respawn it, and then... Well, destroy it in a garage, respawn it, make it mine, and then deliver it. So it's no longer a mission vehicle. Premier. I don't know how many vehicles we'll get here, but I'm hoping for at least, like, a good few dozen. There is a monster right next to the lighthouse anyway. Uh, you guys might need to show me where that is, because I have no idea where that is, and it's probably a very convenient spawn that I should make use of. Alright, the Yogamite thing we have... Do we have one of these? What is this thing? Primo, don't have it. I just launching themselves. Right across the bridge in a little trailer town. Across the bridge to Flint. Oh, this way you mean? Over to like Badlands side? You need San Fierro unlocked. Okay. Good to know. Premier I have. Bikes I don't have. Dude, we've already got, already got 10k. It's huge. Another bike? I think it's just another PCJ. Landstalker I don't have. I know that for a fact. Rivera, I also don't have. This is where I, I've got so many vehicles now that I'm going to start, like, entering stuff to keep it. Taxi, I also don't have, but I've got two cars already. Do I have a bobcat? No. Okay, so now... Hold on. So now we've got... A bit more room. We should, in theory, be able to move this down a bit. It should stay that way now, hopefully. With any luck. Alright. Uh, ooh, that's something that I don't have. I'm gonna get this over to BF, because I haven't seen this before. And I've seen quite a few BF spawn. Keep an eye out for the bicycle that looks like a relay chopper. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so... I'll try my best, but the comparison is something that I don't know, so. You can also save a replace so you ensure vehicles stay loaded. True. But do I care that much about, like, these specific vehicles? I mean, I guess I could, because why not, right? Like, that's another PCJ. Washington, I don't think I have. Like, currently, I don't have a replace, so I guess saving it of these, why not, you know? Love it's like getting nighttime. Like CJ spent like an entire day just throwing himself at the lighthouse over and over again. He's made 15 grand. I would do that for 15 grand, to be honest. All right, time to finally hand in the Landstalker. I think so. I think we have all this stuff. Once we get to a point where we're not really getting vehicles, I'll just go and do missions, and then we can come back here at some point. I'm not sure if there are any vehicles in LS that I really care that much about that I would need to, like, you know, grab it in a mission and then come and deliver it. I don't think there's any particularly rare vehicles that I care about. Oh, a buffalo. That's huge. Give me that. Where do I get a tornado from? I know that's like a Vargo's Gan car, right? This kind of looks like something I want. A oh, Sultan I definitely want. Intruder. I like how I want this. Is this guy gonna get out? There we go. 
Hello, officer. I want the Sultan. Shooter can be rare. Well, good. I've got one now. They have Vargas area? Okay. That's enough. Now, the FCR you get during a Tebow Mendez in San Fierro. So, I can definitely get that for sure later on. Oh, Horn isn't set to shift. That's one bind that I missed. There we go. Just so I can beep some peds out of the way if needed. You'd also get FCRs the same place you get sports cars anyway. Yeah. Anything that's on the list of, you know, the import export in the game, I'm not too fussed about because obviously they're not that rare since they're on that list. So they're intended to be picked up pretty easily. I'm just here to see you drive a mower across the map. Yeah, I'll need to get those slow things. Washington, I have. Washington, I have. Clover, I don't have. I assume the mower only spawns like somewhere in LS, I think, right? And it's like mega slow. So yeah, I'll probably have to do like a cross map drive for it. You can also do import export to get extra import vehicles if you need them. That's a good shout, actually, yeah. Could spawn some stuff in that I need. Do I have a elegant? Is this an elegant? I don't have a perennial. I don't have a flash either. Oh, it's just another premier. I have this, right? Yeah. All right, throw me out. I don't care. This guy's just going to fucking troll me. They're both trying to troll me. You're going to do import export anyway for Euros? Is, doesn't a Euros just spawn in like... Um, doesn't it just spawn in like a Las, Las Venturas like hotel or something? No? Or do you need to do import export for that? Oh, that spawn is tied to import export. Okay, I got you. Yeah, because I know it's bugged and it doesn't spawn in traffic when it's supposed to. So yeah, okay. So I'll need to do import export anyway. I, I thought that it was there always, no matter what. That's good to know. Every car on the list has a unique spawn. Okay, got you. I would like that van if I can get it. The camper van, if another one spawns. But I'm going to miss it, sadly. Oh, there's one. Anything else that I care about? What is that thing? There's like a club, right? I think it's called. I don't think I have that. 25 so far. Doing pretty good. We're like an eighth of the way there, dude. I thought the mower had a fixed spawn in LS. Am I wrong? I mean, I can only assume I'm wrong by the guy, you, the, the way you guys are talking about it. Ooh, that's a chopper bike. Is that what the person was talking about? Because this is different to the BMX. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Nice. Now I see what you mean about the chopper. Yeah. Cool. There's a mower spawn near Mad Dog. That's what I thought. Yeah. Low random plane. I wonder how you deliver the planes. Do you just like bail out and just like throw them into the lighthouse? Or do you actually have to land them? Why not? Yeah. Well, just in case you like miss or something, right? <laughs> just don't miss, lol. I got 40 grand already, I'm smurfing. Alright, I think we're kind of running out of cars now. Do I still not have a taxi? I still don't have a taxi. Bikes, I don't care about. Taxi, I do. Anything else? Ooh, a blade. That's one I haven't seen here yet. AT400 will be fun. I don't even know what an AT400 is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real with you. I don't know what that is. That needs to deliver Andromeda, you know. Oh, the big passenger jet, right? Yeah, as far as I know, some things aren't involved, like the FBI trucks and stuff, because you can't, like, realistically get them without, like, heavy game abuse or whatever. I don't know exactly how it works, but there are some things that technically are possible to get, but you can't really get them legitimately, so. Okay. Yeah, anything that requires glitches, yeah. Ooh, that news van would be nice. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get it, sadly. Axie Perennial. That's the news van. Nice. This is pretty good. I don't know how rare this is, but it feels kind of rare. Is Rhino included on this list? I assume so. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah, Rhino has been on all the lists so far because you can get it. Can't you get a Rhino in Grove Street if you get like 100% or something? Obviously, you don't have to do it that way, but... I guess the best way would just be to get six stars and farm one, but... I guess that is a good possibility if needed. Washington Cabby, Club, Clover, Blade. I handed in the Blade, right? I'm going to drive up the street a bit and see if I can see anything. Oh, a police car. That's really good. Oh, and a limo. Oh, and a Broadway. Dude, there's so much good shit. I want that limo. That's an elegant, right? Do I have an elegant? I don't have an elegant. Yunk. Please spike. Please. I'm not really going to go for police vehicles too much because they're so easy to get. I can just spawn them in. Just by causing a bit of chaos. Doing a bit of tomfoolery. So, like, random spawns are much more important to me. Uh, right. I think we're good for now. Unless, like, another Broadway spawns or something. I don't really care about any of these cars. Um, I guess we can have a look on this street, maybe. So, do you think I should go, go and try and get a tornado now? Or oh, a BF. Did I get a BF? I don't think I did, right? Take this personal, but you getting jacked. I didn't. Yeah, we can definitely go and try and get a tornado. I don't know exactly where they spawn, though. Look where you go. Oh, that's a Huntley or something, right? That's a, that's a big vehicle. You can get this from driving school, I think, but much more convenient to get it now. Bro, can you fuck off. Yeah, I need to go into Vargo's territory, which is like, isn't it like this part? Like these, these like northern territories over here and then like east as well, I think, like over here. So it's kind of far, but we can go and have a look. Northeast, yeah. We can go and have a look. That's like a Glendale or something as well. I kind of want that. Might as well just do that when you unlock gang territories so you see where they are. That's fair enough, yeah. Ooh, is this police bike might follow me down. Alright, huh. He's just asking to have it stolen at this point. Somebody should make the same challenge mod for GTA 5. Good luck getting 700 vehicles. Yeah. Isn't it like technically impossible in GTA 5 because of like GTA Online stuff? Yeah, that they've like removed cars that you can't get anymore. I guess if you just did single player only. But yeah, even then that would be fucking awful. Even if you do it single player, it sounds like shit. Like I think this, this is the, the worst I would do, you know? Like SA is bad enough as it is. GTA 5 is so much worse. I mean, maybe if someone made it, I, I'd, I'd eventually maybe do it, but... I would need a lot of convincing. <laughs> it would need, like, a lot of planning, I think, as well. Ooh, an Admiral. GTA 4 version? I don't know enough about GTA 4 vehicles to know if it would be good or bad. I have no idea. My knowledge is very much 3D trilogy only, basically. If he has 120-ish vehicles, it doesn't sound too bad. It doesn't sound as bad as SA, to be honest. I don't have this, I don't think. Previan. Let's go. Uh, why do I have this bundle? It's a nice, nice color as well. You need the Glen shit? What is a what is a Glen shit? Is that like the damaged one you mean? Where it like has all its windows broken and stuff? Um, I don't know. It depends if the game counts it as a separate vehicle or not. 
I think I need this as well. Isn't this like a Willard? Ow. Give me this. Or oh, Vincent, even better. It is a separate vehicle. Okay. Whoa. What's called something else? Glendale. Oh yeah, Glendale Junk. I see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we so need to get the ghost car at some point as well. Good to know. I think in the game files it's called Glen Shit. Nice. Almost as good as a uh, cunt gun, which is the country rifle cunt gun. Very cool, Rockstar. We got 40 vehicles, which is pretty good at the start. I'm pretty pretty impressed with that. I was hoping for a couple of dozens, so. Go kart and vortex spawn after CTB or any way to get them before. Maybe races? Isn't there a go kart race, I think, that you can steal it from? That was an oceanic there, I think, but I wasn't able to get it. Oh, yo, that's huge. You can get vortex from imports. There's an oceanic behind me. Yunk. I think I just fail cut through a business and deliver it, yeah. I, I guess you could even drive it here, right? Because you you have cut through a business, like you get in the go-kart right here, so you could just drive away and deliver it right here and then just restart the mission. You're literally right over there when you get in the go-kart. So you're just, you're just given a really convenient spawn. You don't need to do that because it has fixed spawns after that mission. Is the fixed spawn in this convenient point though? Close, I guess. Hmm. Well, good to know that there's plenty of options. Savannah. I need that. Yeah, I need an FCR and I need a BF. BF spawns really easily. FCR I'll get later on. Yeah, this is a good find. Especially in such a convenient location, for sure. I don't know how rare savannas are, but I don't feel like they're particularly common here, so. Yeah, I'm just I'm just getting as many cars as possible without starting the first mission. Just so I can like thin down the list a little bit and make it easier to remember stuff. Because obviously when it's 194 cars that I need, it's kind of hard to remember stuff. Oh, yo, what the fuck is that? Banshee? Big. Banshee is huge. It feels huge. Again, you can get this later on in like San Fierro, right? But... It's very good to get it here. The other road that goes north can spawn sports cars. The other road that goes north? You mean this? This one? On the western side? I should move my marker as well. The marker should be here. Yeah? Alright. We can go up that road then. Try and get some good stuff. Regina? Big. 45. Big. Almost a quarter of the way there. What about Phoenix? Does Phoenix even spawn in traffic? I feel like I might have to do um, Home in the Hills for that, no? Alright, let's go up here and see if we can get anything cool. You can get doing. Oh, yeah, you can get it in a race, right? True. Buffalo, Clover. Some decent cars, but stuff I already have. Alright, we can start slowly heading back, I think. Now. If I see anything, I'll grab it. But we'll head along this main street, because it usually has some pretty good stuff. Club, club. There's a good chance I'll probably miss some stuff, by the way. Because I'm shit. Please ignore me. Another Sultan. Stratum I already have. Perennial, Sultans. Yeah, I already have all this stuff. What about a slam van? I don't have a slam van. That is definitely a potential rare vehicle that might be problematic. But yeah, it does have a fixed spawn. Is that a BF? I can never tell a BF from a PCJ. It's kind of hard to tell. But I'm pretty sure these are all PCJs because I'm riding one. So it's just spawning a load of them on top of me. The bottom seat is different. That's a change that I've never heard before. Is that Majestic? I don't have that. Yeah. Oh, I should go and get a Tornado as well. That's something I should do. 
We should go and get a tornado before starting the first mission. Actually, no, wait, I shouldn't. Ooh, Hermes. Uh, do I care about Hermes? No. They're too far away to run all the way back for it. I think. Yeah, I was going to say we'll get a tornado, but I don't really think I need it. Because as Paladinette said, we can just do it when we're doing um, gang territories. Can't you just make a replay of the Hermes? True, I could have done that in hindsight, you're right. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I can just make replays of stuff. I'll try and keep that in mind, but I, that's not a big deal. It's not a super rare car, I'm not too beat up about it. What's world record for this? It's like 18 hours or something daft. It's not on the leaderboard, so the bot won't tell you. I don't think it's worth an SRC category? No, definitely not. I mean, only a handful of people have actually bothered to complete this, like, single segment, so... I don't think it's worth it. Play super safe and drive around here. I say super safe as I'm driving on two wheels. You know what I mean. Should we expect to see you in JDQ at English Ben? Should you expect to see me in a marathon that is 100% Joshimus and never has anyone else included? Probably not. That's all you got. If, if I had to guess. Alright, should we go and start missions or? I hope you know how to date Katie. I do. But my stats might be a bit fucked for it. But we'll figure it out. Even if I need to go and get like fucking. Ooh! I have never seen this spawn here in my life. Stafford. I know this has a thick spawn, but it's all the way in San Fierro. So that might be quite a big find, I think. Oh! Dude! Hello? I feel like this is probably really good, right? On oh, an FCR right there! I'm making a replay. Bro, Coach FCR? Stafford? That's insane. That's insane. Just push the car? That's true, I could have done that, but I made a replay. So maybe we can get one. But don't they be don't they need to be able to like spawn in the area normally to get one here? Oh an ambulance as well. Yo, don't you dare throw yourself off. Come here. Come here. Bruh. Where are you going? I committed a crime over here. Oh, I killed someone over here. Bro, these guys are trolling. Well, there goes the ambulance stream. Hey, look at that, a Stafford. Spawned in that other thing as well. Was there an LG too? And an Esperanto? Damn, I missed so many good cars. We had like no cars for ages and then all of a sudden I get a load of nutty shit. Look, a rainbow. Let's see if we can spawn in that FCR or maybe an LG or something. No way. <laughs> I played one replay and my game just crashed. So that, that's all my progress just gone. 50 cars. No way, dude. That is so fucked. Like, that's so much progress gone. That's like over a fucking hour. Dude, I don't want to do all of that again. Doesn't the mod save your progress? No, it's based on the, on the save, right? It just reads the save. So if I start a new game, it's just going to reset it, isn't it? Oh, that is so fucking sad. Uh, that's so ass, man. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to restart. It's so stupid. Like, I knew SA would be shit, but not just like instantly killing all my progress. Shit. The only other thing I could think of to like make this somewhat fun to like redo it is maybe play with like quick save, so I can save the game like after you know every few deliveries or something. I don't know. Could you use a trainer that spawned them in and make a save after? That's actually quite a good idea. I could. Does anyone know a good trainer for SA that spawn as we spawn in vehicles? I think what I might do is like call it here for now in terms of like this playthrough. 
And then I think Enzio's got a really good idea. I'll offline at some point. I'll go through the VOD, make a note of every card that I handed in, find some kind of trainer that lets me spawn them in, and then, yeah, buy the safe house and go again from there. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be back. Honestly, that kind of fucking killed my mood a bit, so I'm probably going to call the stream here, even though it's very, um, you know, very, very short, and I do apologize. But I'll find a way to get us back into it, and then we can continue next stream all happy and smiles again. Hello. How's it going? Uh, yes, hello. Welcome back to attempt two of the SA SSSA challenge. So to anyone who wasn't here for the for the last one, I got 51 minutes in and I collected about 50 cars or so. And then my game crashed. And I hadn't saved because I didn't expect the game to crash less than an hour in. So <clears throat> Instead of restarting from scratch, because fuck that, we got some good shit and I want to keep the playthrough going. Instead, what I've done is I've used a trainer and I've I've started a new game. I've teleported myself over to the lighthouse and I've handed in all the cars that I handed in during the playthrough. Technically speaking, I handed in an extra car because I forgot that the San Fierro police car and the Los Santos police car were different. So I just handed in a police car that was a San Fierro one, thinking it was a Los Santos one. They're different, but the San Fierro one that is already counted, I'll just do it anyway and it won't count, but then we'll be even just so I can say that I've done them all anyway. Uh, but yeah, so it will basically be the same. I've bought the safe house as well next to the lighthouse, so I can save and hopefully not lose too much progress again in the future. The only difference will be that like the time of day will be different and... You know, I won't have as much stats because I won't have as much stamina from running about and stuff. Aside from that, we should be pretty much good to go. I've also put the timer at 51 minutes because, you know, that was how long it took before it crashed. All good? All good. Okay. So if you look at the collection thing, I'll bring it up on my screen really quick as well so I can see it. So it was at 48. Now it's at 49 because it also has the San Fierro police car as well. But yeah. So we're in the... Oh, I'll start the timer as well. Cool. So yeah. We're pretty much where we were. The lighthouse is right here. Got the safe house. Haven't started the first mission or anything. And, uh... Yeah. We just have one extra car, which is a San Fierro police car, which I'll deliver later. So then we're even. So the trouble is, since it's been, like, a little while, I don't really remember what I actually collected. So, I might just go and start missions, to be honest. And then we can do stuff later on. But I'll keep an eye out. Maybe you guys can help remind me if I've delivered something or not. Did I clear the replay? I just have now. I've just pressed F2 right then. That's a good call, because I don't want to crash my game again. It's a shame, because that replay had an FCR in it. Which I very much wanted, but... Oh. What does the replay do? Uh, it had an FCR in it, and if you play a replay with a certain vehicle model in, it will load it into the game, so then it's more likely to spawn in traffic. But it also crashed my game, so... Fuck it. Not worth it. Alright. I say we just go and start the first mission, and anything that we find that is interesting to us, we can take. And we can always deliver it, like, after missions. Is it a BF? That's a BF. I want to hand this in. Uh, hello? I'm going to save a replay. To save a replay of the BF. But this is a big pickup. Because this is quite a rare vehicle. It does have a fixed spawn, but I don't remember where it is. So I want it now. I think this engine's fucking loud. Let's go, the big 50. Well, technically 49. Now, can I play a replay without it immediately crashing my game with the BF, is the question. Wow, no, I can't. Okay, uh, that's a problem. Because literally playing replays just crashes my game. For no reason. Even with a completely fresh replay. 
Wow. Okay. Let me let me test some stuff really quick. Is it F1? That works perfectly. F3? F1. It's whenever I press F3 and then cancel it with F1, that just crashes the game. What if I let the whole thing play out? Nope, still just crashes. That's so weird. I don't get it. Like, F3 replays just crash my game consistently. No. Back-to-back -back curse replays. There's no way, right? There's no way my game is that fucked. Right? If I save a replay now... Now it works perfectly. What if I cancel it with F1? It works. Okay, so yeah, I, I guess it was just those particular replays just crashed my game and now they're fine. Like, what the fuck, man? Okay, uh, well, because the one vehicle that I got is just a really rare vehicle, I guess I'll just do what I did before and just spawn it in. Hold on. Oh, booting this up is going to ruin my controls as well. Fuck's sake. No, it's not worth it for one vehicle. We'll just hopefully get a slam ban. I mean, there's a fixed spawn. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's. It, I'm not doing. I'm not redoing all of my controls for one fucking vehicle. Yeah, that's so dumb, man. I legit got like two replays that would crash my game, back to back, and now they're like fine. Yeah, if it was like a Euros or something, something that only spawns all the way across the map, then sure. But you'll just have to tell me where the slam ban fix location is. That's the. That's the what's it called? Like the, the compromise. If you tell me where to get the fixed slam van, I won't spawn it in. Sex shop in El Corona. Oh, it's an import export spawn. Okay, I can't get it for ages then. Oh, I don't have this. Hey Enzio, yeah, I uh, I took your advice. I'm pretty sure it's your advice anyway, of uh, using the trainer and spawn them all in on a fresh save. So that's where we're up to right now. And I just got a slam ban and my game crashed again, which is very epic, but I'm not using a trainer to spawn in one vehicle that has a fixed spawn. It's not worth it. Yeah, it, it was easy enough. Setting up clear was kind of a pain in the ass, but it's whatever. Did I get the quick save? No, I didn't, but I got the safe house over there. Did you go to Ocean Docks? Yeah, at some point I probably should, you're right. Spawn in some industrial vehicles. That's not a bad idea, actually. We're about to the docks, like here, right? Clover I have, bikes I have. Ooh, a street sweeper. That's a happy little accident to find. Airport highway mainly for Trashmaster Packer and Bus, true. Yeah, good chat. Also, everyone keep your eyes peeled for slam vans, because I would like to be even on that. Because otherwise I'll have it in my head that I've collected it when I haven't. And then I'll be annoyed. When I miss it later. Because I might get a really good slam band spawn. And then go, oh no, I've already handed that in. And ignore it. But I haven't already handed it in, you know. Is this even fast enough that I can bail out of it, I wonder? Or will it just, like, stop? No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually too slow to bail out of. Nice. Is this mod publicly available somewhere? I can find it on a quick search. If you go to, you know, Ethan's website, EH Games, and look for GTA MM, which is GTA Memory Modules, you can find it in there. It's built into it. Or you can um, go to, what's it called? Uh, if you go to GTA Modifications in the GTA Speedrunning Discord, it's pinned in there as well. Is that an FCR? Yo. Fucking bike. Huge. That's a big pickup. FCRs are pretty rare, I think. At least I always struggle to usually find them. Huge. I'm gonna go and save after that FCR, just to be safe, because that's quite a big pickup. Alright, so we're heading to airport slash docks, right? Is that a cheetah? 
I almost just let that fly right on past me. I'm pretty sure that's also a rare car as well. And I just let it go right past almost. That's big. Oh, sorry, buddy. Alright. Now can we make it to the industrial area without something huge spawning? Tahoma? I don't have that yet. Is that a Tahoma? Yeah, it is. We can get these gang cars. They're not super big spawns, but they usually spawn quite a bit to the east, so they're quite convenient to get now. I think, anyway. I'll be very amused if one of the sedans is one of the last cars. I don't even know what sedans I have left, to be honest. I think I have quite a few of them. Oh, a blister. That's quite big. I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this drive down a bit, so now I can pick it up. Um, I'll let it go to here, and then I'll run and pick up the Tahoma afterwards. I think blisters fairly rare as well. At least, at least compared to Tahoma, Tahoma's I can get anywhere. <laughs> but we can get both. Is that a voodoo as well? It is, but I'm never gonna catch it. I don't think. Oh, it's gonna despawn, I think. Or maybe? No, it's it's gone. Oh! <laughs> wow, okay. As long as I keep this on camera, that's a homo will stay. Alright. <laughs> I will take these free gang vehicles that are spawning right here. Hey, buddy. Fuck off. Move. There's nobody there. Well. If I keep doing these sprints as well, I'm going to have to eat at some point. I'm going to keep getting getting thinner and thinner. I guess I could have taken that voodoo technically. It's a bit closer, but whatever. This one is also a bit closer. Take the second best one. I don't know if you've already answered this, but do you have any plans for if the game crashes again? I'll just do the same thing. If the game crashes and I lose substantial progress, I'll just spawn in the vehicles and hand them all in, in bulk. Because, yeah. There isn't really a better option. Right, to the airport road again. That seems to be the gold mine so far. So I've had all sorts of good shit spawn. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Does this spawn, does this road usually spawn fucking bunkers traffic like this, or am I just getting really lucky? FCR, Cheetah, Infernus, Super GT. That's nuts. Definitely saving after this. The Infernus, especially, I didn't even know that it could spawn there. Run and save before my game crashes. Quick. Quick, 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 go. The game's gonna crash any second. Hurry up. It's weird because I'm getting like half poor traffic, like gang cars and stuff. And then half of it, I'm getting just nuts traffic. Like Cheetah, Infernus, you know, you name it. It's really strange, but I'll take it, you know. I'm never going to say no to those kind of cars. Because that will save me like an hour later on handing them in from like San Fierro, you know. That's a BF, I think. Yeah, it is. Don't, you fucking bastard. The light was red the whole time. Asshole. Fuck off. Bye bye. So I think we're done for motorcycles now, at least. We obviously have the NRG to hand in, but that's a fixed spawn. And it doesn't spawn in traffic, I don't think. I think that's, that's it for bikes, though, I think. Is Andromeda actually possible to get without cheats, then? Yes, but, like, it isn't necessarily getting it without cheats is the reason why it's blacklisted. It's, like, it's only things that you can get legitimately. And by legitimately, they mean either without cheats or without heavy glitches. And duping stowaway is considered very heavy glitching, you know? It's not necessarily, like, cheat codes that forbid you from getting them. All right, let's head onto this road again and see what we can find. Right, so where is the airport? Is this the airport road? The south road. Oh, have I gone Have I gone the wrong way? Was there a south road? I don't remember. Let me go back. One sec. So up here? 
This is the airport road, right? This is what you meant? Yeah, this one, okay. This one's gonna be kind of tough because everyone's very fast. Ooh, that's like a Boxville, I want that. Boxville, Boxville. It's going mega fast, look at it. Oh, fuck. Well, well now it's gone. <laughs> Oh, maybe not. Move, dickhead. There's no one there, but whatever. We'll get this one. Dude, look how fast these fucking things go. It's nuts. It's like the highway traffic or whatever, man. Alright, let's go. Back we go. Oh yeah, tugs can spawn here? What is a tug? Is that a car? It is. What the hell is a tug? It's like a baggage handler, but more boxy. Okay. Nice security car. Oh, fuck. I, I was reading chat. I'm no longer winning, I lied. I wasn't expecting a good vehicle so soon. It's not fair. You know the little vehicle you find in Area 69 in Black Project? No. No idea. Yeah, I don't think they were talking about the jetpack. <laughs> I know of the jetpack. Considering it's like mandatory for the mission. I thought I was an emperor for a second. We're driving by a bunch of nebulas. What is a nebula? Is this a nebula? No, this is like a Previon or something, right? What is a nebula? That large boxy looking... S oh, this thing over here. This is a nebula. Bro, I am really not trying to crash into you, but he's just unlocking my ass. Bro, get me in. Bro, get in. What the fuck are you... What are you... What the hell is happening? Get in the fucking car, man. Holy shit. CJ just running laps around the car for some fucking daft reason. What an idiot. I also do need to look out for a Willard. Because I swear Vincent's and Willard's, I always mix them up. So I could have driven past a load of Willard's as well, and I don't know the difference. I just know they're like shit cars. Driving skill plus, let's go. 60, nice. We're almost a third of the way there. Oh. What is this? Some kind of like utility vehicle. Utility van. Nice. That is just a forklift speeding. I don't think I was going to catch those in a million years. Somehow those forklifts are going like 60 miles an hour. What's my plan at the minute? I'm just going to the airport road and ocean docks to try and get like a different group of vehicles. Because I've pretty much exhausted all the vehicles here. So I'm trying to get like vans, utility stuff. Oh, man. You know, that kind of shit. If you want NPCs can drive forklifts faster than you. Yeah, you can legit drive it at like two miles an hour max, but they can drive it at 60 for some daft reason. If you see a pizza boy, prioritize it. Can pizza boy spawn here? My plan for pizza boy was getting it from Las Venturas. <laughs> from the burger shop thing. Any mission specific vehicles in GTA SA? Yes. There's not that many, but the ones that do exist are a huge event. I'll just knock on my door. I heard someone knock on my door. Um, oh, the burger shot spawn is a Faggio. Oh, oh, fuck. Well, I hope I find one then. Uh, but yeah, like, one of the uh, mission-specific vehicles is you've got to basically beat the whole game. Because it's in End of the Line Part 1. You remember the big, like, tank that you used to smash through the wall? That's a vehicle that you can only get in that mission, so... Purely because of that vehicle, we have to beat the entire game. <laughs> Which adds, like, you know, several hours onto the run. It's pretty annoying. 
There's a Pizza Boy delivery mini game. Is there? That's that's news to me. I've never heard of that. Uh, this is not good to get fog here because I can't fucking see a thing. Yes, there is an LV. I'm pretty sure you're talking about the one that I just mentioned. And yeah, that's for Burger Shot. It's not Pizza Boy. Yeah, there's also going to be any percent NMG. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the missions at some point. As soon as I run out of vehicles to pick up, I will start doing missions, basically. And we'll just deliver stuff in between when it's convenient to do so. I was hoping I would get... Hey, is this a tug? I was hoping I would get another, um... Give me that fucking vehicle. What's it called? Forklift. No, this is just a regular baggage handler. Okay. Oh, a tow truck. Is that right? I think that has a fixed one, I think. Go to the airport? Why? Tow the stairs? Wait, the stairs are a vehicle? That's a Saddler and I need that, but... A Remington. The stairs are a vehicle? Holy shit, they are. Uh, how the fuck do I get to the airport? I go this way, I guess. I'll be real, I have no idea how to get into the airport. Oh right, I can't drive in here. Can I do the thing where I punch it and it opens? Or do this. Can't you do this? Can't you just do this and jump over? And then open it from the other side. Hold on. Hold on, I'm pretty sure I know how to do this. And then you can just open it from this side, right? Look at that. Huge. Quick, before it closes. Let's go. Alright, where the fuck are the stairs? Everyone keep your eye out for stairs. There are stairs. So you're telling me I just like... Oh, is it these ones, I think? These, these seem a bit more movable. Huge! I had no idea you could do this. Holy shit. I did not know that you can do this. <laughs> I'm glad that you told me because I would have had no idea. Bro, I really didn't break that. Why is the fucking fence completely indestructible? What the hell? Bro? No way I'm ramping this. Alright, now nah, fuck it, I am ramping it. Check this. This is the most insane USJ you've ever seen. Check it. Ugh! It's fine. We got him over. Oh! Oh, so now the fence breaks. Why do they bounce? I mean, that works. Why are they smoking as well? They don't have an engine. What the fuck? I somehow jackknifed the stairs. They're now smoking. And they bounced back. Yeah, because the engine's fucked. Epic, dude. Uh, right. I'm gonna go the way that I know, because I don't want to get stuck and lose these fucking things. Alright. This is gonna be an epic drive back. So, I assume you can't drive the stairs by themselves, you have to tow them, right? Like, if the stairs is your last... That's not a Berkeley's RC van, is it? No, it's just like a regular advertisement. Because I'm pretty sure Berkeley's RC vans spawn really rarely in industrial areas. So, we need to look out. Dude, I wish I could get all of these vehicles, but I can't. I'm scared that if I get out and get into a different vehicle and deliver it, that I'd lose both of these because the stairs are despawn or whatever. I don't know how, like, trailers work in terms of personal vehicles. Be honest with me. How many of you knew that you could do this, towing the stairs? How many of you knew that you could do that? Type me smiley face in the chat if you knew. I'll know if you're lying. I didn't. I didn't. Idiot. Yeah, there's not that many. What the fuck, dude? My stairs are gonna blow up because this guy just fucking comp- Oh my god! Dude, stop! I'm gonna have to kill this guy. 
Because he's legit. Th these guys are legit just going to stun lock me to death. Look at this. What the fuck is wrong? Stop, man. Bro. What the fuck? I, I was out of the car and he still just ran into my fucking thing. That's crazy. I thought when you got out of the car, they would still try and come after me. But they didn't. They just went straight and suicided after my car. Literally anything to just inconvenience me as much as possible. That's such fucking bullshit. Well, I guess we're going all the way back. Push the stairs on foot. There's no way, right? By the time I do that, I could just go and get another fucking thing. That's so annoying, though, that it's such a huge fucking waste of time. Just because of SA bullshit AI. Fucking dumbass game. You're gonna have to walk now, sucker. Whatever, man. I will just go and fuck myself. Oh, bro, come on, get over there. I forgot how fucking dumb this game is, and when you crash into someone, yeah, there's like 50% chance that they'll ignore you, 50% chance that they will just slam into you until you die. It's so ridiculous. Yeah, it is intended. It's just another terrible SA mechanic that just makes the game extremely not fun. SA is full of them. Yeah, I had no idea that it was focused on the car. I got out because I thought that, it, you know, they would just start going after me and I could um, save the car. But they just ignored me and just rammed the car into the fucking ocean. That's so nuts. What is that over there? Is like a triathlon or something? Fuck that. I've never actually done those and I never will. Fucking dead content. They should be required for 100%. 100% the game, but don't actually do 100% of the content, by the way. Guess I'll just keep collecting docks vehicles, I suppose. Let's see how far this guy goes. There's only one place to deliver vehicles? No. But right now there is. Because the only other place that I can deliver it is god where even is it here i think so not the most useful thing no i can't use that it's too far away what do you think oh an emperor i need that i'll drive alongside this to see if they go close to where i want to go i might even be able to push them or maybe even shark attack them I might even be able to force them to come near me one free shit you know there's only two on the map to my knowledge yeah, crash into- that's not a bad idea, actually. I was thinking about that. Thanks. Of course, the one time I need them to be angry. We could try this one as well. This also is an hey, good looking. Bro. Bro, fuck off. She's got a fucking bat. She's coming at me. Oh, here we go. Yes, come this way. Let's go. Abusing shark AI. Yeah, I mean, if it's gonna, if it's gonna present itself constantly, I may as well make the most out of it, right? This is huge. Look at that. Oh, and now I can just steal it. Yoink. <laughs> Is there a limit to how many vehicles you can have on you at a time? It's two. You can have two personal vehicles before the first one despawns. So right now, if I were to enter another vehicle, then, um... Oh, you don't mean that. You mean shark AI? I have no idea. I... Don't know. 
Don't know how many people you can have pissed off at you at once. No idea. That was a huge double pickup there. We, we can do that for quite a few different vehicles, maybe. Alright, we'll go and save. It's been another 20... We'll save like every 20 minutes or so if we get some decent progress.